Alright, I'm making this video here because I'm a little confused about something. You know, I'm kind of an organized hoarder. What that means is I like to keep things, but organized. I say that to a couple people whenever, whenever they ask me, you know, why do I have so much junk laying around? Uh, but I keep it organized at least. That's the good thing. Anyway, uh, so I have a question here that no one's really been able to answer. And it's a question that... I have seen people bring up, you know, on Reddit and other places like that, and no one really seems to know. They kind of give guesstimates on what happened, but it's a very rare motherboard. Anyway, these are all, if you don't know, 360s. These are all 360s that have been opened, uh, of course. They all work. They're all just, you know, backups upon backups upon backups of things that I have. And one of these boards, well, let me just get this straight off the bat. These are all Xenon boards. These are all the first, you know, if you know anything, it's the first, you know anything about, you know, 360s, of course. Like, it's the first generation of the 360 was the Xenon boards. And as everyone knows, they were the red ring of death, you know, they were always failing. And what I find very strange about these particular ones, well, actually only one, is that the heatsink assembly looks like a falcon these are falcon heat sinks now let me just clarify some more if you look over here this is the standard design you had you know the cpu and the gpu right so that's all there were there weren't any heat pipes of the sort like you see here for the bridge here this heat pipe was not in any any variation of the xenon that is well known at least now these were mine. I bought these, you know, with the unit. I, you know, I, I bought the unit, of course. So these I know the history of. So they failed, and I had to fix them manually, of course. I did the whole, you know, heating up the board with, you know, a heat gun, all that good stuff that everyone did to make it work. And, you know, it worked, they work to this day. But I picked this one up over here at a garage sale and you know i purchased it from this uh woman who said you know it was her it was her sons or something like that and you know it was you know the history didn't seem too out of the ordinary and the seals weren't broken on it so you know why not i bought it but when i opened it you know just to clean it out because people are filthy half the time and i make sure i clean everything i saw that it had these falcon designed heat sinks in them now, it's clearly a Xenon board, there's no HDMI, and the first thing that comes to your mind is, oh well, you know, when they originally had the problem with the red rings, they had the Opus board, which was a Falcon design board essentially, that had the HDMI deleted out of it, but it was still a Falcon board. These, if you can look at the inductors, the row of vertical inductors on the right here, this all matches up this is a xenon board the power pins match up to xenon everything about this board is a xenon but it has a falcon gpu setup also if you look over here at this chip right over here you see this chip right here this is identical I'm not too sure what that chip that controller is but if you look at this chip the uh the pad you could see the the pad on the board is there but there's a very small chip in the center of that pad. The chip isn't there. It's just a very small version of that chip. But the pad is still on the board. So, and you could also see this label on the AV output that isn't there. So, my guess, and you can correct me. Someone needs to tell me what this is. Is that this is a returned red ring unit that was before the opus board was developed and the preemptive design of fixing these was to put this modified falcon gpu in without the opus board being available at the time that's what i think it is no one has ever been able to confirm that and this must be a very rare board because i have never really seen any of these and i can only find one picture of one on the internet of a stock falcon gpu in a xenon motherboard and if that's what it is, that's what it is. If not, someone tell me because, you know, I like to get to the bottom of things. And it's more of an interest than anything. 
Obviously, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, but end of the day is, you know, when you like to collect things and you like to keep a track of things and, you know, just fun to, I guess, acknowledge the past, right? So, no one really knows what that is. If the people on Reddit were unsure, I found one thread and it was dated years ago of someone who opened their unit and it looked like this. And of course, there were people that were saying it was a developer board. It clearly is not a developer board, but... It is something, and if somebody knows, let me know. All right.